Bishop Ford's sole mission was to bring Jesus to those who had never heard his holy name. But the communists didn't think it was all that innocent. Instead, they found Ford guilty of espionage. The government considered him a spy. Uh, the government was also anti-Catholic. When Bishop Ford didn't volunteer to leave the country, he was bound by ropes and marched through streets to prison. Those who worked closely with him, like Sister Pauline Sticka, knew they were next. 27 miles that we walked, walked, walked. With guns to their backs, yet some Mary Nolers weren't intimidated by the communists. They knew their truth. We were... Uh, too closely involved with the local people. And they didn't like that too much. The government wanted to be the rulers of everything. But they couldn't. In the 1950s, resilient Catholic communities began to go underground, where many still are today. There's so little record, uh, written record, or, or even history of that time, and that's because if you wrote something down and that was discovered, that's a paper trail that can be followed. In prison, the always smiling bishop's health rapidly declined and he died less than a year later. Certainly, his life was a life of love for the Chinese and willing to die for them. Some of these uh, were gifts from him. After his martyrdom, articles and personal belongings of the bishop arrived at Marinol. People and family anxious to donate items that could have belonged to a saint. Everything from books to soil and blades of grass from the spot he was believed to be buried. Imagine the faith of someone who thought to scoop up some blades of grass and a clump of dirt because that was the only thing they could do to remember this man. When Mary Nolers returned to China decades later, they found the bishop's name was still well known. He's remembered as someone who's trying to help them uh, and who's someone who formed their first communities. Still many remember Bishop Ford as their saint. If canonized, the baby baptized in the Diocese of Brooklyn will be recognized for a holy destiny, lived out 13 time zones away. He was named Francis Xavier. Mm -hmm. uh, after the great missionary saint, and uh, that prefigured his existence as much as anything. Bishop Ford's cause for canonization has begun, granting him the religious title, Servant of God. Michelle Powers, Currents News.